Let's get her a little acceleration here. Woo! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be going over the all new Chevy Silverado 1500 LT. Before we end this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. This one is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can reach out to them. And then on a side note, if you can save time and money the next time purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 21 on the highway with power outputs being 310 horsepower and then 430 pound feet of torque. Before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood here, first off, I love this red paint, and then you guys can see all of the sharp lines that are on every Chevy Silverado and how it's kind of like raised and then lowers down and then raised again. Pretty interesting. And then coming down below, you guys can see you've got the traditional Chevy bow tie there with the LED daytime running lights right there off to the side, and then you've got your LED headlamps as well. Lots of chrome trim, including the bumper. We got tow hooks there on the bumper. Uh, no fog lights, but Looks good. And then when you pull it all together, the new Silverado, I think it looks pretty good. Come around the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 275, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here, we've got the silver on the top and the metallic gray below that. I think it looks good. And then something else to note, these tires are pretty aggressive. Notice the Silverado badge is all blacked out, but then we've got the chrome trim there on the mirrors and the door handles are body painted. We do have leaf springs here in the rear with the Silverado. And then when you put it all together, I do think that the side profile of the new Silverado is pretty good looking. Again, lots of kind of sharp lines all across. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, our remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. And bada bing, bada boom. It's kind of slow, but it pops down. Now, once we're in the bed, notice that the tailgate itself already protected. And then we do have LED lights here in the back. Then we have a full power outlet as well. Payload capacity, 1,888 pounds, if you're wondering. Lifting out the tailgate, super easy because it's actually very light. So we've got the base taillights here on the back and then notice we got our 4x4 sticker there and then all of the badges and logos and everything all blacked out here. And then you guys can see chrome bump there with the bumper steps. And then if you're wondering, towing capacity, 9,000 pounds. And so let me know what you guys think about the rest of the rear. Sorry about the sunlight in this shot, but it is what it is. Here is the rear door panel you guys can see with the wood trim there at the top and then we got our double stack design, really nice stitching all throughout and then your little handle right there, pretty nice and I like the handle up above. Anyways, we've got more storage there at the bottom. Now with the LT we've got these cloth seats here and it's pretty cool design all down the center and then you can pick up the seat for more storage underneath. Legroom here in the back of the LT is pretty dang solid and then you guys can see here with the storage pocket. And then notice we've got some vents there, charging ports, you know, all the normal stuff. And then you guys can see headroom's pretty solid. So here's the front door pen, you guys can see again with the wood trim, then notice again with that double stack design. All of our window controls right here with our mirror adjustments, and then again, door lock and unlock. The mirrors do have little convex mirrors, so that helps out with seeing your blind spot. And then the front seats have that same cool cloth design as the rear seats, you can see all the bolstering, and then they are power adjustable. We've got a bunch of controls in this section, so this is your parking brake, and then this doesn't have four-wheel low, but it does have four-wheel auto and four-wheel high. Drive mode select with your tow haul mode select, and then your light controls. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. So a really nice trim all around the steering wheel. You can see the stitching there on the center portion. We do have radio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Controls for center stack, voice command controls, heated steering wheel button on the steering wheel. We have cruise control as well. Turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. And then this has a good old fashioned column shifter with the plus and minus so you can manually select the gears yourself. Full digital gauge cluster here in the center, which the little center screen there shows you different bits of info on the truck. Pretty standard stuff, but then off to the side, notice when you pop in tow haul mode, it shows the tow haul icon. And then you also have a sport mode, an off-road mode, and a terrain mode. Something I've noticed is the Chevy Silverados that do not have four below have a terrain mode. And then like the ZR2 obviously has a terrain mode as well, so it's kind of interesting. Now in reverse, you guys can see you've got a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn the steering wheel and then you've got that like center line there as well if you're hooking up to a trailer. Now as for the rest of the infotainment screen, shortcut bar here on the side, then you can see the center screen has solid response time, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. And then you've got that auxiliary screen off to the side. Now I've got a bunch of analog controls down below, so like your home screen, shortcut, volume control, and then this is for your lane departure, auto stop start, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, and that's to roll down all the windows at once. 
Now we actually do have a dual zone climate system here and we've got heated seats as well. You can do the whole seat or just part of the seat if you want and then some USBs off to the side. Here is the center console. So opening it up, we got some nice storage there on the top. Got a couple of cup holders here and yeah, decent storage there. And then I do believe there is, yes, more under seat storage as well. We have the cool double glove box situation that uh, pretty much every truck has nowadays. And you can see the nice stitching there and then the wood trim and also on the dash as well with the padding. So up top here, we've got a manual mirror dimmer and then, well, fixed rear glass. So here's our window sticker for this 2023 Silverado. You guys can see three or 36,000 mile on the basic warranty, five year 60,000 mile on the powertrain and base MSRP 52,400. This has a few options added to it. And you guys can see if you get the turbo 27, you actually get a $1,500 credit. So Chevy's kind of paying you to take the 27. 54,995 is the total MSRP. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So we are setting off here in this Chevy Silverado LT. And first thing I want to mention is um, seats are very nice because they are heated. It's kind of a chilly day today. Let's see how cold it is with the uh, truck temperature. It says it's 44 degrees. I feel like it's colder though because it's windy and you know the wind always makes it feel worse but anyways um seat comfort is actually pretty good here with the lt one of my favorite parts about the uh silverado is actually the turn signal indicator i think it looks really cool with this new uh style of truck steering wheel feels really good and uh that is also heated which is nice definitely coming in clutch warming up my hands right now good torque initially just kind of getting up like pedal response is pretty good gear shifts are also yeah, pretty, pretty quick, the smooth, that's for sure. So that's definitely a big plus as well. Um, engine's pretty quiet. I mean, you do hear it. It is, it is definitely strange to hear a um, four cylinder under the hood of a truck, but you know, I think it's something that you could definitely get used to. Let's get our little acceleration here. Woo. Yeah, this thing moves. Again, super torquey. 430 pound-feet of torque. That's fun. It's always fun driving the 27. It's just it's, it's a weird sound. It's definitely it's definitely a weird sound. Um so yeah, let's let's sum things up. So first off, they must have reworked something for 23 because the fuel economy figures seem to be higher than what I remember for 22. So I don't know what happened, but something happened. Um with this LT package. This is probably the sweet spot for most people purchasing a Silverado this or the RST because you still get like the new interior, right? You still get the digital gauge cluster, the big infotainment system, um, but you know, you're not paying the price of the LTZ or of the high country uh, or a trail boss, frankly, not a custom, but the LT trail boss, which are you know, a little bit more expensive. And so I guess if you want the value play within the Silverado lineup, this definitely fits that. And I feel like this has all the creature comforts. You need heated seats. Um, you've got a backup camera with it. Well, that's standard in every single vehicle, but dual zone climate, heated steering wheel. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about this package. Let me know what you think about the 2.7 turbo. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this Chevy Silverado LT. Again, a huge shout out thanks to the Larch Miller Chevy here in Provo for giving some time with this truck. Check out the info in the description down below. I'll see you.